Deborah? Deborah? Oh, there she is. Whoa, it took me forever to find the link. Where'd you find it? On text. I, I couldn't find it on email. Yeah, I because I think I um, I both texted. I think I might have only texted them, Kathy. Yeah, that's fine. Text is fine. Now I know where it is. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Hey Alexa, how are you doing? Deborah, the weirdest thing, I logged on a minute ago and I was in an empty, I was in a room looking at like a, like one of those puppet things, you know, that get, that people put clothes on. Oh, yeah, that was, that's, oh, that's my office. That's uh, my mannequin, sorry. I was like, wait, and it was, and it said recording, and I was like, this is very oh. strange. <laughs> sorry, I, um, in between the math class and this, I was just charging my computer a little bit, and then I was working. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was in the right room. You know? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, let's start. Let's start red, green, blue. Red, green, blue, flip bar up. Anything in particular anybody wants to do? Any special requests? I love when we do our legs in the straps underneath the knees, you know, and the leg circles that way. Oh, okay. Oh, good, yeah. yeah. I like that too. It's really changed my left hip flexibility. Okay, so yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Okay, so red, green, blue. Let's start on our back and heels. Can you guys see me okay? Is that an okay angle? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. We still have our Christmas tree. We have to get rid of our. Oh. Okay, let's start um, heels on the foot bar, uh, wide stance parallel. So wide stance parallel, flex through the feet, head rest is up or down as you wish. Find your neutral spine. We're gonna press all the way out, flex through those feet, all right? And in and out there, not letting the carriage crash in. And as you go up, activate your booty, really squeeze the glutes, connect your heels to the glutes, take that lengthening squeezing moment as the carriage goes out. Shoulders down, close the ribs. Make sure that you have that space where a little mouse could crawl between your lower back and the carriage. So you want that natural curve, neutral spine. Let's do four more here. Three. Two. All right, this time as you come in, I want you to lift your tailbone, go around, lift your tailbone just the height of your hand, out and in, hovering. Try to keep that natural curve, try to keep your tailbone the same height. Three. Two. One, good, bring it in, lower the tailbone. 
Come back down neutral. Externally rotate, press out. Squeeze the sit bones together. Get the length of the legs through squeezing rather than jamming. Three, two, and last one. As you bring the carriage in, same thing. You're gonna lift your tailbone just that, the height of your hand. Take it out, squeeze, lengthen. Four, three, two, and last one. We're going to carriage in, lower your tailbone down, take the carriage out. We're going to do knee circles. So internally rotate to bring it in, external to take it out. So spiraling in the hip socket, focus more on the hip socket and the engagement of the glutes as you take the carriage out. Soften as you bring the carriage in, but don't just release it. Three. Remember which direction circles you're going. Two. And last one, we're gonna reverse. So come in, external, rotate, internal to take that. Four. Three, two, and last one. And let's bring it in and just shake it out for a second. All right, we're gonna stay in that wide stance, externally rotated on our heels. Come into neutral spine. We're gonna work into our bridge. So we push the carriage out. Now, imprint, scoop as you bring the carriage in, cut and bring it up to bridge. And actually, careful, if you brought your headrest up, take it down. Nice scoop, come up and push it out. So you're staying lifted as the carriage comes out, but you're rolling through the spine. So you wanna feel that scoop and lift and come back down. You're just about that inch off your carriage. Same thing as previous and out. Let's do two more here. Last one. And let's bring it in. Lower the tailbone. All right, let's go parallel. Same thing. Push the carriage out. Imprint, scoop. Come up into a parallel bridge. Exhale, rolling down. Scoop, peeling off. And up. Three more. Two. And last one. We're going to bring the carriage in. Last variation. Keep your heels wide. Internally rotate. So, as you take the carriage out, your knees are going to separate. As you peel, scoop, come into bridge, draw your knees toward one another. Focus more on lifting the hips than forcing the knees together. You just want that internal rotation. Scoop, lengthen. Four. Three. Two. And last one, and let's bring the carriage in, lower the tailbone and knees to the chest. Anybody want to talk about anything? No. Nope. Okay. Balls of the feet are on the foot bar. Let's start parallel. Heels are in line with the sit bones, so just about that fist distance between your knees. Let's take the carriage all the way out, lower the heels down, raise the heels, bring the carriage in. So full extension through the foot. Uh, 
pressing into the big toe. Four more. Three. Two. And last time we're gonna take the carriage all the way out. Heels down, up, down, up, down, up. Squeeze the booty. Four, three, two. Both heels high, prance. One heel and then the other. Lengthening to the waist, ribs are down. Four, three, two. Both heels high. Externally rotate so you pivot on, your, on the balls of your feet, bring the heels together. Carriage in and out, heels down and up. Make sure you activate that booty as you lower and raise the heels. Four. Three. Two. Next time we take the carriage out, heels down and up. Just down, up, down, up. Squeezing the heels together. Pressing to the big toe. Four, three, two. Heels are high. Prance one heel and the other. It's funny. It doesn't matter how, how many years you do that. It still hurts. Four, three, two and last one both heels high let's bring them in and let's shake it out okay ah, let's roll to the side um let's go to one green spring so we're going to do this a little, on a little harder spring you're always welcome to go down but let's start on one green i'm going to be on my left side if you want a ball for your neck or something bring it up we're on our left side. Scoot your booty to the back end of the carriage. Bring that supporting knee in toward your chest. Walk your right heel to the to, toward forward of your sit bone. So mine's right on the edge, but it depends on your body height. Right, lift up in the waist. Really feel a long torso. And flexing through that right foot, bring the carriage in, reach through the heel. See so what energy out of that supporting leg. Don't just collapse into the carriage. Don't lengthen your waist. Four. So remember, you're on a green spring, it's heavy. Three, if you want to go down, switch to a red, and then blue is next after that. Two, all right, this time, as you bend that top knee and the carriage comes in, your lower leg reaches long. You're stacked on your hips, you pull up, flex. Reach through, keep that top, your right foot flexed, pull through. Feel your abdominals engage. Four, three, two, last one. We're going to meet up with that left leg, thread it underneath the foot bar, lift up, tap the foot bar, up, 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 five, four, three, two, hold that lift. We go forward and back, forward. And back. You're balancing on your hip, your belly button's pulled in, your ribs are closed. Last two. Last one. Come back center. Pull back in. Right? Externally rotate. Sorry. Externally rotate your right leg now. Don't fall back in the hips. Stack the hips. In and out. Externally rotate it. Four, three, two, last one. And let's bring it in. Beautiful. How does everybody feel about that green spring? 
it's fun. Good. Okay, let's come on our back. So that was our right leg we were working. So we want the right strap over the right foot. Staying on green. And same thing here. If you like the spring uh, is too heavy, go down to a red. Let's push out to 45 degrees with that right leg. Left leg is nice, tall tabletop, right? Bending in, lengthen out, come up toward 90. So with a heavier spring, I would suggest not going all the way to 90 until you got the muscles working. You might want to soften that knee a little bit. Really fire up from the glute hamstring, get organized. Three. Two. And last time, all the way through bending and straightening, right leg, we're gonna to meet toward the sky. Left leg goes long for scissor. Okay, so your choice here is exhale, upper body lifts up. And we go into scissor in an upper body contraction. So you get the lengthening of the legs and the engagement of the abdominals. Do four more, imprinting that lower back. So really feel the abdominals press down into uh, the spine, into the carriage. Good. Next time your right leg is 90 degrees, the left leg reaches long, upper body releases down, take hold of that cable, pull that leg in. Now try and tip your pelvis toward the foot bar. So you get more extension and, and stretch through the hamstring. Don't fall into the lower back. Good, externally rotate both legs and open to the diagonal. So your left leg opens to the diagonal to offset your right leg diagonal. Come back parallel, bend both knees, and let's bring it in. Oh, I should have done two or four. Oh, well, whatever. All right, let's go to the other side. Same organization, get your booty to the back. Are you guys okay looking at my butt? Yeah. All right, on your side. So take the carriage out. You want to get organized, lift in the waist, pull that supporting knee in. Flex through your left heel. And bring that carriage in parallel leg, push all the way through. As you extend through the left leg, you want to feel the engagement all the way up to the rib cage because you're engaging your obliques, lifting up in the waist. Four. Three. Two. All right, this next time you bring the carriage in, we'll reach that right leg through and pull it in. Keeping your waist lifted, keeping the legs parallel. Let's do three more. Two. On the next one, we're going to meet up with that leg, thread it through, lift it up, tap it so far, up, 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 five, four, three, two, hold that lift, go forward and back, forward and back, three, two, last one, and bring that leg in, come back out, externally rotate from the left foot, and then out, push that left hip forward though so it's stacked. Belly lifts, ribs close, nice long neck. Four, 
three, two, and last one. And let's bring it up. Come on to our back. Left foot goes in the left strap. Push out to that long line first. Find your neutral spine. Anchor that tailbone. All right, bending in. And come up toward 90. Here again, take your time. Find a range of motion that works for you. Let's do four more all the way through. Three. Notice if you're tumbling into your lower back, keep your pelvis facing the foot bar. And last one, let's meet up to the sky. All right, take, reach that right leg long. Exhale, chin to the chest and push through and scissor. Really feel your lower back imprinting. Three. Two. Last one, we'll meet up with our left leg toward the sky, release your upper body, take hold of that cable, pull that leg in, try and tip your pelvis back toward the foot bar. And open to the diagonal, cables in the left hand. And come back parallel, and let's stretch in. And bend both knees, and yeah, let's bring it in. Okay, so let's go back to a red green boil, back on our back, we'll do some hip and integrate some abdominal. So both legs, whoa, what is that? That's right. <laughs> All right, both legs are in the long black straps all the way up to behind the knee, uh, well, behind the thigh, above the knee. Okay, so if you feel like this is too heavy when we do it, because it is heavy, uh, I would suggest taking the blue spring off to start because we're going a little heavy. All right, so ankles, knees, thighs together, come to tabletop. Right, first we're going to start with a little abdominal roll. So your head rests down, your arms are long, squeeze your knees and ankles together. We scoop and roll up. So this, the cables help us. Then I want you to place each vertebra down slowly, push to your extended knee. Exhale, scoop. And you want to do the work before the cables are there to support you. So try to lift, scoop, and get more hollowing out more height with the help of the cables. Rolling down, you lay each vertebra down, same thing, peel each one off, coming up. Let's do two more. And the last one. We're going to meet up in our extended V. Now keep your legs straight. Come toward 90, press down. So you want to keep that lower back imprinted. Exhale, press down. Float up. Exhale, accent is that extension down. Three. Two, and we're going to meet up with that extended V. 
open the, the legs, bend the knees in, and we come into hip circles. So you come back to center, push to that V, open. So start noticing if one hip is more flexible than the other, just breathe and soften into the circle. Focus on the leg that has the least range of motion or that does the least work. Good. Four more here. Three. Two. And next extended V. We're going to meet up 45 degrees. All right, straight leg. We're going to come up in a straight leg curl. Roll down. Press to 45. Take your time. Try not to hurl. Try to peel. Working to the back. Keep the abdominals engaged. Roll down. Three. Two. Last one. Meet up in that extended V. Bring our knees in tabletop reverse circles. Open and push out to that V. Long neck, soft shoulders, close the ribs. Four, three, two, the last one. And let's bring it in. And let's take our legs out of there. Stay on your back though. Um, I'm going to let my straps fall into the well because we're going to hold on to the pegs in the full. So you can get the full peg or, or you can just keep your straps on there too, whatever you prefer. All right, tabletop. Take <clears throat> lower back. Let's push our knees over our hips so we're not curled in here. Your real tabletop, but imprint your lower back. Nice deep breath in. We're going to do our knee lifts to the sky, just a little tiny lift. You're lifting up and away up and away. So you activate those lowest abdominal muscles. Don't do the work in your neck or your jaw. Four, three, two. Now hold that little left. We're going to spiral to the left, come back in the center, spiral to the right. As you spiral, try and keep that top knee lined up with the bottom. So you'll notice that the top knee pulls back, but keep the knees squeezed together. One more time, each side. Good, come back to the center, legs straight to the sky. Same thing, imprint your lower back, little toe lift up and up and up and up for five, four, three, Two, now hold that lift. We're coming down to the center, circle to the left, come up. Stay lifted, down the center, circle to the right. Down to the center. So two more times each side. Try not to have a death grip with your hands. Squeeze the knees together, last time each side. And let's bring it in. Yay! Okay, roll, roll to the side. What? I said, wow. Okay. Roll to the side. Let's uh, come off. Um, so let's go to, let's go to a blue spring. Take your foot bar down and let's turn around so we're facing our um, shoulder blocks. Okay, we'll start with a little upper body integrating abdominals. I don't know why I'm picking on the abdominals so much today, but. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Blue spring might be too light, but we'll see. Okay, 
So my legs are crossed because they won't fit straight, but you can have, your legs can be straight or crossed, knees soft or straight legs. Okay, we're gonna take the long black straps, come into bicep curl. Now push your chest forward so we're not falling back into our hips. We're nice and stacked, shoulders over the hips, elbows are high, bicep curl in, palms are open so you're pulling toward your shoulders. Focus on a long neck, a nice, what? Oh, a nice lifted sternum. Keep going, I'm just gonna change the camera. Good, nice tall spine. Each time your palms come in toward your shoulders, lift the sternum right into the spine. Three. Two, and last one. Good, all right. This time, you're gonna pull into bicep curl. You're gonna uh, scooch forward with your pelvis and come into your C curve, drop your chin. Three bicep curls here, looking straight ahead, long neck. On that third, your hands are in bicep, reaching toward your shoulders, lift up to the sky, lengthen. Come back in. Okay, long spine, bicep curl three times. Hold this bicep curl. Tuck, 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 tuck. Round the inner C curve. Three bicep curls in. On that third one, pull in, reach up to the sky, lengthen through the spine. Good. Let's do that two more times all the way through. Scoop, 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 scoop down. Reach back up, lengthen, feel your spine, lengthen to the side. Crown of the head reaches, don't curl your chin up. Scoop, 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 scoop. And three bicep curls, hollow out in the belly. Make sure you can see that C curve. And come up, beautiful. <laughs> Choke up on your hardware, so go up in front of the hardware on the cables, right? Parallel arms, sitting up nice and tall. Your arms are not really doing anything to start, except extending. Start with that pelvic tuck, curl down, see curve down, and curl, stack back up. Really feel the mobility in your pelvis, your hips and your lower back as you extend, rounding, hollowing out. And come straight back up, stacked on top of your sit bones. Two more. Good, and last one. All right, holding on in the same place in the cable, chest expansion, straight arms. Don't swing. Drive the heel of the hand behind you. Pull the shoulders down, the shoulder blades down. Feel the lats engaged, narrow to the center line of the spine. Four. Three, two, and next time the carriage comes back, our arms come forward, single arm row with a spiral. And back straight arm. So bow and arrow, that non-working arm still extends. You want to feel yourself lift out of your hips, spiraling at the waist. Don't curl. Bring yourself out at the waistline. Three more times each direction. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Come back, slip back onto the long black straps. Going to deltoid. We're going to do parallel and then we'll do side uh, rotation. So hinging back. All right, you're pushing with the back of your hand 
but it's coming from your shoulder. Don't arch, hinge back, close the ribs, pull the belly button in. Keep your chin neutral so you don't do the work in your neck. Good, one more time here, and then we go into spiral. Palms facing, you separate your hands, open to the side, even tension on the cables. There's slack when you come in. Two more times, each side, open through the sternum. Push your middle back forward without popping your ribs. Get the length in your spine. Give a fall. Now let's bring that in. Okay? Yeah. All right, coming onto our carriage, we're going to do a side extension. Onto our carriage, um, knees are just wider than your hips. Okay? We're going to stay on a blue spring. If the blue spring feels like a killer, we can move the gearbox. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay, I'm, uh, my left leg is facing the shoulder block, right? My left hand is going to go on the shoulder block and then cross my body, grab hold of the long black cable. So without pulling on the carriage or anything, I'm going to arc that arm over and look straight ahead underneath that. Open through the side of the body. So you're trying to lift in the left ribs and extend as you flatten, as if there's a wall in front of you. Now try and put weight into that right knee. Try and evenly weight. And then fold forward, just get a little release. Everybody okay? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna open again. This time as you open, your palm is gonna go to the ceiling, right? Open. And last time we fold forward, and this time we're gonna go into the extension. So you open, you push and reach that arm straight and come back. Now let the carriage come all the way back in. Everybody okay? Anybody want to move their gearbox? Last one. Come back in. Good. Let the carriage come in. Now rotate your palm toward your head and take that last big stretch, lifting up in the ribs. And release forward. Okay, other side. Woo. Knees are just wider than the hips, so now you know what to expect. So you want your get booty engaged, right? Right hand comes down. Right there, you want to open up that left hip and flatten in front of you. Grab the strap and just take that opening. Look underneath your arm. Press your hips forward. Press your chest forward. Reach that left arm back. Hold forward to release. Again, open. Now rotate your palm toward the sky. Good, fold forward. You're gonna go into the full movement. You're gonna open, rotate your palm to the sky, push through that strap, straight arm. You're looking down at your right hand. Three. Lift up in the ribs. Two. And last one. Okay. <coughs> spring on one blue spring. Rotate so you're facing the foot bar area and your legs go in between the um, shoulder rest. Okay. We're going to take the long black strap in our right hand. Keeping your elbow close to your body. Your left hand is on the top corner of the carriage. Okay, before we pull on any cables, extend your left leg. Once you're on your right supporting leg, sit back so your weight's in that supporting leg, not in this left arm and shoulder. Bicep curl in, Wonder Woman forward. Keep your weight back, slowly come in. Bicep forward. Wonder Woman, keeping that left leg floating, your weight's in your right supporting leg, you're sitting into your haunch, shoulders down, long neck, two more, get longer, straighter, 
Keep that left leg parallel, reaching back. Last one. And bring it in. Good. All right, before we go to the other side, hands around the frame, push the carriage back, open up the chest into the well. Bring it in. Other side. Strap in the left hand, hand on the top right corner, walk your legs back, get a nice tabletop back to start so you're not all crunched up here. A okay, nice tabletop back to start. Stand through the right leg, check that it's parallel and lifted. Left elbow close to the ribs, bicep curl in. Wonder Woman forward. Try not to let the carriage come all the way in. So you have to initiate the stir, the fire from the start. Stay in that movement. Three. Two, the weights in that supporting leg. Last one. And bring it in. Again. Hands on the frame. Open your knees a little bit. Keep that carriage back and arch into the left. Good. <clears throat> Let's bring it in. All right, our foot bar is gonna be on the lowest rung. Just gonna get my drink. Hi. Let's try this. If you don't like it on your wrist, we can do a modification. Um, stay on one blue. And if you feel like the blue is not enough support, you can switch to a red. Hands are on top of the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna put my left foot, one foot on the foot bar. Then we're gonna push out to play and lift up. Okay, get them organized in plank. You're gonna go straight into pike. You come in, tap your bumper. Push back out. Tap your bumper. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Come into plank, hold that plank for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and look, and bring it down. Pose up. Okay. I just didn't like the uh, angle of being on the headrest, so I went down on the carriage. Oh, you good? Okay. All right, so let's turn around. Let's put our foot bar up to the top. And put your headrest in between the shoulder blocks, put it up all the way. Okay, so we're gonna do a different version. Half heel it on the shoulder blocks. So let's start by not moving the carriage, but sit back into your heels, press into that extension, right? Tailbone is super high. Belly is in, ribs are closed. Try and press your middle and upper back into or toward your thighs. Don't pull on the foot bar though, right? Exhale and push out into plank from there. Inhale while you're there and exhale as you pull into that pipe, staying, keeping your weight back into your feet. And pull that courage in. Here again also, if you feel like the blue spring is not enough support to pull into your pipe, go to a red. But you wanna keep where we started. You wanna keep your weight back in your feet, not transfer into your shoulders. 
Good. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Let's meet up in plank. Hold that plank. Now connect your big toes to your pelvic floor. Pull that carriage forward and back. Forward and back. You want your shoulders ever so slightly behind your wrists so you're not pushing forward in your body weight. Your weight's in your feet. Four. Three. Two. And one. Push back, hold that plank. Tuck the pelvis. Widen the stance of the shoulder blades. Lift up in the chest. Hold it four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it in. Okay, twirl your wrists. We're going to do one variation, which is bring our feet together so the ball of your foot is at that crease of where the headrest goes up or down. So squeezing our ankles, knees together. All right, we're gonna push out to plank. Push in your feet. Now wrap your left leg over your right. Keep it straight, pull in your pike. And up. Let's do four times each side. Don't collapse at the hip and lower back. Let fourth one come into plank. Both feet down, reset. Right leg wraps. Exhale, pull from the belly button. And last one. Come into plank, both feet down. Hold it there for a count of four. Three, two, and one. And bring it up. Yep, feet are against the shoulder blocks. Push that carriage back. Push your chest in, lengthen through the spine. Good. Let's bring it forward. Okay. Um, let's do one, one more back thing here. Let's stay. I'm gonna have to bounce, Deb. I promised my boyfriend I'd go for a hike at 11:30. Okay, ciao. Bye, guys. Have a Bye. Good um, let's go to a red spring, Kathy. Okay. Okay, we're going to do laps. So knees are against the shoulder blocks. Walk your hands forward. So you're, lean, you're definitely leaning into the frame. Okay? Not pulling with the knees, pulling with the lats. You're gonna pull that carriage forward and release. If the red feels like too much, go to blue. So your elbows are soft, but your arms are pretty straight. Your belly button's pulled up. Your ribs are closed. You want to pull, scoop out that armpit. <clears throat> Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. Take a little upper body extension. <clears throat> and bring it up. Okay. Uh, let's do headrest down. Add a blue spring on. Let's do some, some short spine. Yeah. Okay. Feet are in the long black straps. Okay, let's start 45 degrees, externally rotate. 
Squeeze your heels together, coming up toward 90, pressing down to 45, bend into froggy kick. Wait, we're red in a blue? Yeah. Oopsies. Keeping the tailbone anchored, all the space in the foot bar. Two more times. Good. Let's meet up 45 degrees, parallel legs, squeeze your ankles, knees, sides together, same thing. Come up to 90, press through, tabletop in. Without tumbling into your lower back. Right, two more times. And let's meet up forty five degrees. Long legs, lift all the way up. Good, externally rotate, bend in the knees, rolling down, short spine. Take your time, keep your heels high. Good. This last time, Kathy, let's roll up, externally rotate, put your hands to your hips, support your lower back. We're going to push through high froggy. Push through. Five, four, soften through the neck and the shoulders. Three, two, and one. And heels in and release your hands, roll down. Good, let's do one long spine, pushing through. Legs stay long. Exhale, lower down, roll through. When the cables catch, just keep the muscle activation, push through. Good, circle start at the bottom. Two. 
last one and come to 90, flex through the feet. Release in your open beat. And cable assist, and a high butterfly, coming out to the top of the cloth for your heels in. Welcome, Kelsey. Have a nice day. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Bye.